All right, hello everyone. As you can see by the title of this video and the fact that I am very zoomed in on my 5820XL, I have some updates to share with you. I have recently completely overhauled the uh, bedroom fire alarm system. With that, there will be some changes that I think a lot of you will really, really like. So uh, come along with me as I show you what has changed. And would you look at that. Check out that really awesome looking new board. As you can see, I have uh, made a lot of changes to the bedroom fire alarm system. So, the first update that I should add is that the basement and bedroom fire alarm test names are no longer going to be used. I decided that they, they honestly sounded kind of dumb, so from now on this is going to be Silent Night 5820XL, fire alarm test, whatever. And downstairs it'll be Simplex 4008, fire alarm test, whatever. Whatever number I may be on. So the numbering is going to start over again from 1, but fundamentally these are going to be the same videos. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at all the... Uh, changes I made to this board in more detail. So for that I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and actually show you around as I usually do. So let's start at the panel. So as you can see um, it's on the wall now in pretty much the same location as it was before. Although the main change here is on the inside and with the programming. So yeah, keep that door from slamming. Um, as you can see, I did improve my wiring a little bit. Looks quite a bit nicer in here now. You can see all these nice wires coming out into this junction box right here that goes out of that existing knockout. And uh, yes, I did um, put the resistors in the panel, but that doesn't matter because this is a demo system and I don't feel like, you know, replacing those resistors every time I swap out devices, so it's just easier that way. Uh, same SLC isolator module. Go ahead and put the battery cables behind that. Um, it's in the panel, just because it can mount. Uh, I can't tell where my finger is. Like, on these holes. So I just find it's easier to put it right there at the beginning of the SLC loop, which is right there. So... I also changed around some of the programming a little bit. Um, before I had um, the strobes running off the strobe hack, so I took my aux power tap from this flex put and ran it through, I forget which relay it was, but um, <clears throat> it ran through a relay. I recently figured out how to actually isolate the uh, output, output groups so that um, I could code the horns and strobes separately. Or I could code, you know, the NAX separately. So, that is new. But overall, I would just say the inside of this panel looks a lot nicer than it did before. I got the batteries in there all correct. The, uh, the whole thing just looks nicer. So, there it is. The next thing that probably caught your attention was this security panel that I've put in now. Um, this is a Cadix Networks NX6. It's like a precursor to the uh, GE Interlogix panels, but it's, you know, just a slightly older variation. Um, I actually got this for free from one of my uncles who had it in his house forever. He was going to install it, but then he didn't. So he is like, hey, you want this? And I'm like, sure. So I got this panel. It was new in box. Um, I also got a couple motion detectors, um, like a door contact. This uh, keypad for it right here, which I'll talk about in a bit. Batteries, a little uh, dialer thing. It's pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and take a look inside of here. Just open it up, just like that. Um, right here is the uh, power connector. I know that's ran with FPL, but it works. 
it just runs off a 16 volt transformer that came with it. Um, these are your keypad connectors right here. And I have this hooked up to one of the motion sensors. This battery is also connected, although I don't know if it's actually charging or not. I'd have to check. Uh, that battery came with this panel as well. So there it is. So right now there's only three wires coming out of it. Obviously power. This is for the keypad and this pair of wires is for the uh, motion detector, which I'll show in a second. So there it is. Go ahead and close that back up. And we've got the keypad over here. So, so far I haven't really done too much with the security system just because I don't really know how to work this keypad yet. But as you can see, it, it shows it's ready to arm. But uh, I, I honestly can't tell if it's armed or not. If it is, I obviously haven't set it off. Um, there's a trouble on zone one where the uh, motion detector is. I think I have to like program it in. But um, yeah, there it is. It's a, uh, it's a nice keypad. I can go ahead and, you know, you know, push buttons on it. And it does that. If you do like star or anything, it, it does, it beeps. <laughs> I don't really know anything else about it. So uh, there it is. I am excited to learn more about this security system as I experiment with it. And hopefully I can do some cool stuff with it. My intention is actually to wire these panels together so that when the fire alarm panel goes off, you also get a fire alarm on here as well. So that's a project for another day. So the only thing that's actually connected to the security system right now is this motion detector right here. And um, it's just there for looks right now. It doesn't really do anything. So, uh, yep, there it is. So, next we'll look at these pull station spots. As you can see, there's obviously two of them, just like before. But what's different is I have these back boxes installed now, and this, these, these boxes are where the uh, monitor modules for these pull stations are. It's not like before where I had one module like actually inside the panel and one inside just a random junction box. Um, I changed it so that it's just easier to work with. So monitor modules are in those boxes. That monitor module controls this pull station and vice versa. It's just easier that way and it looks a little nicer. As you can see, I don't have, you know, wires exposed. So there those are. Those pull stations are obviously interchangeable. So after the first test, I'll have different pull stations there. Up above here we got a couple of modules, um, on the bottom we have a relay module and on top we have a control module as indicated by the corresponding labels on them. So right now these don't do anything, they're just there for show. And you know, I had a relay module and a control module so why not install them on this board? That's what I thought. So my plan is that eventually this relay module will likely be used to trip this panel control module. I'm thinking of adding the CO detector portion back to this. And you know, that'll go like right there. So uh, that's probably what that control module will be used for if I use it for anything. Um, so yeah, right now those don't do much, but you know, they're nice. They're nice to have. They're, uh, it's cool to demonstrate how they work. So they're on the board. Up above the control module, I have the uh, notification appliances. There's two of them, just like before. Uh, both of those spots are set up so that they can be ran as four wire, but right now these are both set up as two wire. So, you know, two NACs run to each of those boxes, one for uh, audibles, one for visuals. So right now, as you can see, I have a 4903-9219 and a Wheelock AS up on the system, but those will be changed out from test to test as they always are so that's where they're going to go and again as you can see there is no wires sticking out everywhere which i think looks a lot nicer 
Um, so, those are the notification appliances, uh, which you might be able to tell, I'm not sure if you can or not, but I actually have slightly deeper back boxes, which will just make it easier to work with these uh, devices. So, there they are. Last part of the board we're going to look at today are the smoke detectors. So, obviously, on the left side and right side, I have the two Silent Night SK photos that I've always used on this system. Um, as you can see, I actually installed them to look nicer, so the LEDs are uh, lined up with each other and they're up and down, and the Silent Night logo is uh, easier to see, instead of them being all kind of crooked how they were before. And in the middle, we have the same two-wire conventional smoke detector spot. So right now, as you can see, I have my 2400 up there. Um, so that's that. Um, so we still have the two addressable detectors and the one conventional detector, just like we had before. Mostly this was an aesthetic upgrade and a back box upgrade. That is huge. So uh, there they are. They are pretty much right above the panel. So there they are. One of the biggest things I didn't even say about this, uh, save for brief mentions, that there are no wires showing on this board except for the uh, AC power cord going down to the uh, 5820 power plug. Um, I know some of you will probably ask, like, where's the voice panel? And I plan on putting that back up on this wall, although not entirely sure when, although I do plan on putting that back on the wall. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So, there it is. And uh, as I said, no exposed wiring. That is a uh, major plus from the, uh, from the old bedroom system. And I think it makes this board look a lot nicer. So, with that said, that is the end of today's video. If you wanted to see me set off fire alarms and uh, watch this thing in action, you're going to have to wait till the first test of this board, which will hopefully come out in the next week or two. Um, I've actually already recorded parts of that video, although I'm not done recording it yet. I'm uploading this video first, though. So, there it is. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and to check out the links in my description. Thank you, and have a great day.